welcome to part three of Art Outdoors. Today we are going to be practicing our drawing skills using one point perspective. So this activity is geared for my fourth and fifth grade students, but anyone is welcome to follow along. We are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. Now if you're using loose leaf paper, you're probably going to want to bring a, a book or a binder to draw on, something that has a hard surface. So make sure you get your parent or guardian's permission, gather your supplies, and let's draw outside. Hi, boys and girls. Okay, now that you are outside, make sure that you are sitting in front of your house. You want to be sitting directly in front so that you can see the front of the house as well as the side of the house. That is going to be the key to creating a successful one-point perspective drawing. So I'm going to be going through the steps as I draw my house, and I want you to be drawing your house. All right, can't wait to see what you create. All right, boys and girls, so make sure you find a spot in front of your house that looks similar to mine. You want the front to be flat, meaning that the lines are horizontal and not slanted. The side of the house is what is going to be converging back into space. The very first thing you're going to do is draw your horizon line, which is the ground that your house is sitting on. And then we're going to focus on blocking in the basic shapes. Don't worry about the details. We'll focus on those later. For now, start with your basic shapes. I've just blocked out the house. I'm trying to get the big shapes in before I go and add in the details. And we're trying to make sure that we're getting our perspective right. One things, thing I want you to notice is that all of these angle lines are essentially going back to the same point. If we were to draw these, they would go off the page into what's called our vanishing point. So anything that's towards the bottom, they should all be parallel. So they should be the same angle. The front of the house is flat. And then anything that's going out down the side is what's going to be angled going towards our vanishing point. All right, boys and girls. So as I mentioned before, all of the horizontal lines at the front of your house should be horizontal. It's not till you get to the side that those angles are gonna converge back to a vanishing point. So I want you to take a look at these dotted lines on the screen and notice that the siding of my house, they all angle back to a singular vanishing point. One trick that works for me is if you hold your pencil up in the air in front of your house, that's gonna help you find that angle and you can then put your pencil directly on your paper to get an accurate angle. This is the key to making your drawing look three-dimensional. boys and girls. So from here, let's start blocking in some of those details like doors and windows, roof shingles, siding or brick, whatever uh, details you have on your house. Now make sure the front of the building, those shapes are going to stay flat. They're going to stay basic squares, rectangles, whatever shapes uh, you see. It's not till you get to the side that those top and bottom lines are going to converge towards your vanishing point. And remember, this is key to making your drawing look 3D. All right, so from here, I'm gonna start adding some of the details like the shutters to the window and the siding of our house. so far was just going back and adding some of those details like the siding and the windows. I'm going to go through and I'm going to add even more detail and come back and show you my final uh, drawing. Hi boys and girls, want to get back on here and show you my final house drawing. 
Now I went back over my lines with pen and erased the pencil line. You don't have to do that. And if your drawing does not look like mine, do not be discouraged. One, our houses are different. We live in different houses. So you're drawing something that's different. And secondly, drawing is all about practice, practice, practice. Just like reading and math and any other skill, sports, you're not gonna be good at it the first time that you try. You have to continually practice. So if you're not drawing every day, you're not exercising those muscles. So if you need a refresher on one point perspective and what some of those key terms are and how to make your drawings look three dimensional, feel free to watch my um, YouTube video that I already created called One Point Perspective. It goes a little more into detail about how to make um, your drawings look three dimensional. And um, just a couple other things to make sure your drawing has. The front of your building should look straight on. It should look flat. And it's not till you get to the side of the building that those lines start angling back. And like I showed you in the progress video, you want to make sure that your lines, that they are converging towards your vanishing point. So not all the lines are parallel. They start like this and then they slowly go steeper and steeper because they're converging towards your vanishing point. And think how cool it is to have a little memento of a drawing of your house. Um, I know we can all take pictures with our phone, but it's just pretty cool when you can have your own unique drawing of something and you can keep that forever just as like a memento. So like I said, keep practicing and I cannot wait to see your drawings.